Hello and thank you for watching today's unboxing and assembly video. Today we're going to be unboxing the Pride Mobility Go Go model ES2. All you need to get started is something sharp to cut the tape along the seams of the box and to cut the pallet straps. This unit is shipped on a wooden pallet. We're using a box cutter here just to cut the tape very carefully along the middle of the top of the box and on the edges. Once you have the tape cut, you can go ahead and just open up the four lids and underneath the four lids you're going to see one square piece of cardboard as well as the user manual packet and the quick assembly guide. We don't need the assembly guide. We're going to show you how to do this with a video. We've done this many times before. It's a very straightforward process. It should only take about 10 or 15 minutes at the most. If you want to refer to the quick assembly guide, you can do so. We do highly recommend reading all of the material in this packet here it comes with the user manual and a couple of adjustment pins, which will show you how to use those in just a moment. The first thing we're doing is removing the basket. It is a mesh basket that hooks onto the tiller handlebar assembly. The next thing you can do is remove the two armrests. They do come packaged up and protected with some plastic sheeting. Just go ahead and take them out and put them to the side and then begin to remove the loose piece of styrofoam block. The next thing you're going to want to do is reach for the box that has the charger in it. You'll notice it has a little wall plug coming out of the box there that's used to plug right into the wall. We'll show you how to use that sh shortly. The next thing you want to do is loosen the tiller adjustment knob. That knob allows you to adjust the tilt of the handlebar. You can bring it closer to you, you can bring it away from you and fold it down. Once you lift it, you can remove that other styrofoam block and then you can remove the seat. The seat comes packaged, just go ahead and unpackage it, put it to the side, and begin to unbox and unpackage the scooter. At this point, there's really not much left to unpackage. It's time to get ready to take the scooter out of the box. And as instructed on the lid of the box, we're going to show you how to cut the front of the box out so you can roll the scooter right out. The only thing you want to do to prep for that is get all the corner pieces out. As you can see we're doing here, we're removing all of the cardboard uh, corners and the styrofoam corners. And as shown on the lid, it's showing you here in two steps to cut the front of the box out and then lay that flap forward so you can just roll the scooter right out of the box. You don't need to actually pick it up and bear the full weight of the scooter while it's assembled. It does ship pretty much fully assembled um, minus the seat and the armrests. So what we're doing here is we're carefully cutting the edge of the box. We're not going on the side with the staples. We're going on the right side of the box since the staples were on the front and it's very difficult to cut through where the staples are. Uh, on the other side here, which is the left that we're seeing from our view, we could just cut on the side there. There's no staples on that side. And then once the two edges are cut, as you can see, the front flap folds forward. Now what we're going to do is remove the styrofoam block that's in the front underneath the scooter. There's two styrofoam blocks that the unit rests on and that protects it during the shipping process. Once you remove that front block of styrofoam, you'll want to just go ahead and make sure that the bag that the scooter's actually in begins to kind of come off of the unit. So what we're doing is we're taking the bag and we're rolling it back towards the back of the unit so that we can just literally roll it right out of the box without having to worry about that bag. So as you can see, you just lift the back a little bit um, and the Brakes are automatically engaged, so you'll want to switch that yellow lever, which is the automatic brake lever, to put it into freewheel mode. Then you can actually roll it out. Uh, if you don't hit that yellow lever, it's not going to move. It's going to be very hard to wheel it out. So disengage that automatic brake lever, and it will freewheel right out of the box. The next thing we're doing here is just unpackaging the chair, which we didn't do yet. We just put it to the side. It does come pretty nicely protected here with some styrofoam sheeting, a plastic sheet as well, and a piece of cardboard. The seat is very easy to install. It has a rail that goes into a sleeve. There's a knob on the sleeve that's fixed to the base of the scooter. You'll want to loosen that knob all the way. Otherwise, the chair post will not slide in. So once you have it loosened enough, it can slide right in. And then you'll want to get the adjustment pin that's located in the bag that the user manual comes in. It comes in a separate smaller bag that's just the right thickness to get in that little slot. There's two slots on the seat post rail and sleeve, so you can adjust the height by one inch. That allows you to basically control your seat to ground height or your seat to deck height, which can either be 
adjusted by one inch. The, the standard spec is 20 inches, so you can lower it or raise it by one inch. As you can see, you just put that adjustment pin into the seat post, and then you tighten the adjustment knob underneath the seat to make sure it's not wiggling. On the front tiller, you have another knob, which again, you can use to bring the handlebars closer to you, away from you, or when the seat's removed, you can fold the tiller handlebar all the way down to make it easy to put this scooter in the trunk of a car. So there are many different adjustment knobs. You'll wanna go ahead and make sure when you're done assembling this unit that you tighten all of them. The armrests also have adjustment knobs. You'll wanna loosen them all the way to allow the armrests to slide into the sleeve, otherwise they won't fit. Just like the seat post sleeve, they all work with knobs. So when you first get the unit, they're all gonna be tightened up so they don't fall out. You'll need to loosen them all the way to allow the armrests to slide in and to allow the seat post to slide in as well. You can just rinse and repeat on the other armrests once you finish the first one. And then remember to keep the unit in the automatic brake mode, meaning the switch should be in the drive position with the letter D. You can't just ride these scooters with the freewheel mode engaged because the automatic brakes need to be turned on. This safety feature is meant to prevent users from going down hills if the battery runs out uncontrollably. Now we're going to show you that these batteries come disconnected for safety during shipping, so you'll want to actually remove the floorboard by removing it, you just start from the back, you pry it up a little bit, do it softly, you don't want to break the shrouds, but you'll notice one of the terminal connectors are not connected. And that's so your batteries don't drain during the shipping process. Just go ahead and connect that negative terminal and then put the shroud cover back on the scooter and you'll be good to go to get power. To connect the basket, you just get the hooks come underneath and then tilt forward. There is a little drawstring so that you can Tighten up the fabric mesh there in the basket to secure your belongings. The armrests do flip up. They are width adjustable as well with those tension adjustment knobs that we showed you earlier. You can slide the armrests in and out to make your ride a little bit more comfortable for your body type. Now we're gonna show you that there is a circuit breaker switch as well as a charging port on the left side towards the bottom, towards the rear as well. There's a little flap, you'll have to lift that up to expose the charging port. And when you first get the unit, you'll wanna make sure that you charge it overnight just to give those batteries a full charge since they probably have been sitting for a little while in a warehouse or in the shipping process. So when you first get any scooter or any pair of sealed lead acid batteries, you wanna make sure you charge them all the way for at least a good couple of hours, if not overnight. These do come with smart chargers, so you can leave it charging overnight it's not gonna overpower your battery and damage it if you do so. Here we're showing you how to connect the charging cable, the wall outlet cable to the actual charger itself. There's no wrong way to do it. It just plugs right into the little box. Then that cable plugs into the wall. And the other end with the metal barrel connector, it has three pins on it. It's called an XLR charger. This is for a 12 volt, 12 amp hour battery set. It's a 24 volt system and the charger, it comes with it included. It's a two amp charger. You can plug it right into the side there as shown, there's no wrong way to do it. And that little button above the charging port's a breaker switch in case you get hung up on something and to protect the motor, it's not gonna allow you to keep driving if you're stuck on a big curb or a tree root. So if you do something like that and you notice the unit stops working, just go ahead and hit that button. It'll reset the power. Now on the dash, you're going to see that there is a switch. The toggle switch is meant to change between speed modes or to turn the unit off. There is a horn. The horn is rather loud. And to use the throttle levers, it's meant to be used with one hand. You can use your left hand. If you pull back, the unit goes back. If you push forward, the unit gives forward. If you use your right hand, the controls are inverted. The throttle system is pressure sensitive, so if you touch it just a little bit, it will move very slow. If you pull all the way, it's going to go full speed. All in all, this is a great unit. We offer it tax-free and with free shipping on our website, mobilityscootersdirect.com. If you like this video and you want to see more just like it, make sure to subscribe. We appreciate comments and likes. Any feedback that you have, make sure to reach out to us. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.